It was the climax of the Dream 11 train at Antebago Titan Blast, with the day beginning with the Chicago Steel Pan players restricting the Scarlet Ibis Scorchers to 113 for 4 to win by 12 runs as they went on to face off against the Soka Kings in the final. On to the finals as both teams were greeted by members of the TNT Cricket Board ahead of the highly anticipated match. It was smooth sailing to begin proceedings when the Soka Kings took to the crease as the early partnership of Kadeem Allen and Shatrohan Rambaran got the Kings to 16 runs after the first over before the rain got involved to delay proceedings. After the delay, Allen was then dismissed when he was scored by Ickwick Craig with the score at 25 for 1. Ramaran then picked up the mantle as he dispatched the 6 to get the Kings to 42. Rambaran then struck again with another six straight down the crease. With a third boundary, the Soka Kings would finish on 61 for two after Dejon Charles was caught to end their innings. With the weather striking again, the Duckwood Lewis method was implemented resulting in steel pan players chasing a reduced target of 57 runs in four overs. The pan players got off to a bad start when Cidel Diaz was caught on the second ball by Charles to leave the pitch scoreless. A bad start then turned into a nightmare when the experienced Dinesh Ramden also left scoreless when he was caught on the third ball in the first over. Craig's LBW wicket completed the third dismissal of the first over as the steel pan players were stuck on nine runs for three. <laughs> Kelvon Callowan stepped up to pick up the pace to bring up the score to 41 for three with them needing 16 runs from six balls. The pan players began positive with a Navin Badezi boundary to start the over. The hearts of the pan players nearly sunk as Badezi was caught with nine from four balls needed for victory. Stepping up to the crease, was the man they called Baby, Jelani Seals. A six from Calawan and then another from Seals sent the Steel Pan players into a frenzy as they won by six wickets. The award for best batsman of the final, scoring 30 runs, was none other than Kelvon Calawan. Winning the award for most runs of the tournament with 293 in nine matches went to Kadeem Allen. Man of the match went once again to Kelvon Calawan. Player of the tournament with 219 runs and nine wickets was Sedel Diaz. Captain Dinesh Ramdin collected the winner's trophy as his team earned a cash prize of $100,000. The champions of the Dream 11 TNT T10 Blast, the Chicago Steel Pan Players. Adrian Lazar, TTT Sport.